hello guys how are you doing so here's a new version of computer repair CRM WordPress plugin actually this plugin is not only for computer repairing businesses so many other businesses like uh, uh, phone uh, mobile repair uh, mobile repairing uh, workshops uh, car wash centers and uh, uh, laundry businesses dry cleaners and building repairing uh, uh, services providers many other uh, many kind of businesses can use it actually uh, the business which have parts services and extras extras are actually the parts which are uh, unused items in your workshop are, uh, are you have which you can anytime sell to a client who need it so let's see how it works first of all you have to do some basics uh, once you download it from wordpress.org once you download it from wordpress.org and install in your computer uh, i mean uh, on wordpress and activate the plugin then this uh, option will appear there you can change it to any anything like computer repair whatever business you are doing all right then you can define the taxes which you want to use if you don't want to use any tax then there is no need to define any tax you can define as many taxes you want uh, as uh, many taxes you can uh, there is no limitation just click on it uh, write tax name description and tax rate the percentage and status in case you want to inactivate a tax because if you have used a tax already in a job you cannot delete it you can just inactivate it so not to use further but what you have used be before you cannot uh, modify it uh, unless you uh, modify that job all right so once you have defined the old taxes here you can uh, enable or disable ta the taxes if you don't want to use taxes you can just keep it disabled but if you enable the taxes you can uh, select a primary tax here if you don't select any primary tax then you have to uh, then you have to select uh, the, uh, the right text each time you add a new service new part and uh, extra in your job uh, all right the currency and if you are offering something for rent like uh, mobile on rent or computer on rent or anything uh, if not then just disable it uh, if you are offering pickup and delivery then it's charges here if not then just disable it and mm, these are the shortcuts which you can use uh, these are the shortcuts to list the services to products and to, to uh, order status form in front end so your customers can you uh, use them i'll show you later how they works uh, let me show you see these services are coming from that shortcut these parts are also coming from that shortcut the job status here your customer can enter their case number and click on check the status uh, here they can uh, get the all details order number case number created on payment status the uh, order status then customer details which we have the order details uh, whatever customers have to do the past details the past tax total and the past total services services tax and services total then extras their tax and their total then grand total all right uh, okay here services here they uh, how the cu customer can add the services add it the description you can also use the WP Bakery as the viewer composer, or you can eliminate a uh, user eliminator also. Uh, it's your choice. And um, here you can add the thumbnail for your service. Here you can add the set types if you want. If you have so many services, then better you divide them in types. The service code, time required, cost, uh, tax. Yes. In main page we selected 15% primary tax but if this service have a different tax then you can give a different tax here so they when once you have pre-selected something 
then uh, the er error during uh, adding a job is very less warranty uh, pick up and delivery available yes you can uh, uh, disable that for this service and you can enable for other service all right similarly the la laptop printer means if you have if you have selected for all services to uh, enable the laptop uh, rental or uh, pickup and delivery then you can disable for a specific service going to that service uh, to see how the service page looks this is the host services page will come and the data recovery so uh, yeah see these are the details description you can add images anything here uh, every theme will, a theme will display uh, theme, things as per their skin and their colors their, their typography this theme uh, we are using waffle box if you want you can let me know uh, uh, it's not a free theme all right yes the uh, okay parts similarly just like adding services you can add parts uh, they are manufacturing code stock code core features capacity price and tax if you want to you, uh, give it a specific tax you can change it here warranty installation charges message about installation because there are something you have to say up to customer like we do not give you warranty on electric parts anything like that okay parts Series. It's detailed. <coughs> Past brands can be added here. Okay. Well, the jobs. Let's add it. Uh, add it a job. Here you can add a customer. Just select a customer and uh, search for it. Walk-in customer. For the customer, if you don't have details of a customer, you can have a customer walk-in customer and anything. Which you can use again and again and again you want to add new customer just click on it add customer details first name last name email phone number city postal code company address add customer all right uh, case number comes automatically but you can change it but it have to be unique the delivery date when you promised you will deliver and uh, the technician whoever you to whom you assign the job you want to add a new technician uh, technician have less fields than customers but if you want to add more fields to it you can go to technicians section here uh, job details all right then adding a part see tax came automatic automatically okay you can also change it here yes you can change price even quantity you can do anything similarly for services uh, extras are the things which are uh, in the workshop like the uh, for computer pair business the power cables power supplies a used one which you uh, took out from someone else PC but now you can sell them uh, used power supply 25 to this is how it works then update it yes here you can uh, change the order status here you can change the payment status uh, payment, uh, order status let's say it's complete right here complete for the customer uh, he will get notified whatever you want to notify them the status the partially paid I have not updated it so. okay and if we check it from front end
see a strategy complete partially paid and yeah, we can 1261 1261 and uh, jobs uh, one more thing there are so many filters if you want to uh, check the order status that you complete you can just apply the filter and you will see the jobs which are read, uh, already are complete and if you want to say that check the payment status you can uh, paid one see there is no combination of ready or complete and paid one so it's empty uh, let's say it for all job type of jobs and uh, paid one is only one is paid for customers here you can add uh, for search for customer to see their jobs and by technician you can also see is that it okay from clients you can also check two jobs working customer have click on your job and see it's already selected here and their jobs are technicians they have two jobs let's open them see it's already selected all right so and updating a technician you can update uh, that code here updating a client you can update their data here okay well uh, you must be thinking if how it will work on to 2020 your theme but uh, not to confuse you I will activate 2020 because you are thinking we definitely need they are complete okay our services actually need to check full with transport with 2020 I should know using WP Bakery here. I'm not sure what's going on, so I don't have much time for detail. What's going on? Okay, this is 2020. Order status. We have to change the page settings. That's it. Order full. something is wrong here so let's ignore it for now we don't have enough time to do these things right now during the video thanks <laughs>